it's Christmas early at my house because my friends over at Sizzix had a little present to send to me. Oh, I'm so excited. So I thought I would unbox it here right for you on YouTube so you can see the joy of a brand new big shot. Woohoo! This is the teal one. And as many of you may have an idea, I had an old vintage that I actually got because it was busted. <laughs> and I have it hooked together with duct tape and Sizzix thought that I deserved one that's not held together with duct tape. So I'm going to baptize it today here on YouTube. I have two sets of dies. They already sent me a bunch of dies as well to go with it. And I've got this really fun, fancy, fancy border. And I'm going to start by die cutting those for the shape of the ornament. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you a whole mess of ornaments that I've done in all different kinds of shapes. But this one is going to be this shape. And the image that I'm going to use is this snowman. Now I don't have the Hero Arts stamp set that it goes with. And I don't have the little piece of holly that that's supposed to cut out. But I do have the shapes that I think I can still make a snowman with. So we're going to try it and see. First, I'm going to cut out a border and I want the outside border of the ornament to be this dark blue. So I'm going to tape these two down with washi tape so that they remain in place. And these will be the first cut on my Big Shot. If you've not used a Big Shot before, it comes with this plate that has all these little flappy doos. And the flappy doos tell you which sandwich you need for which kind of die and whether you need each one of these arms that come in or you need an extra plate or a blanket or whatever. It's all right here and it's contained in this thing with the flappy doos on the side so you're never going to lose your instructions. And look at these brand new glassy clean clear uncut <laughs> plates. Yay! First cut baptizing it right here on YouTube right in front of your very eyes. And I'll cut out my snowman and I'm not going to sit here and bore you with cutting out every single piece of the snowman and the whole ornament, but you get the idea. We now have a big shot that has been driven round the block. You can see there's a slight impression from the die here. If I show you really close, there's a little bit there and I want that to be stronger because I want to use that as a design element on my ornament. So I'm going to use this little set of, I guess they're called styluses from McGill. And I'm going to use the tiny one. I'm going to go around the edge of the die. So it's the smaller die that's in there. And I'm just tracing around the outside of it. All the way around the whole thing. You can use other items. You don't have to use a stylus. You can use a, a pen top. I've done that before. Now you can see the detail that that adds onto the piece. Which is going to be really sweet when we get the ornament done. The background blue layer, the light blue, is punched out of just the outside of those two shapes and then my little snowman is going to fit right inside here. I'm going to glue him down. I had considered making him airbrushed and do some dimensional uh, shading on him with an airbrush and then I thought, eh, I just want to get this done so I can get to what I really want to share with you which is the photos at the end of this video of all of the other ornaments that I've made because I've gone a little bit crazy doing this this year since I'm on the broke side this Christmas. I thought I'd make ornaments for everybody that I know and love. And so they are all going to be at the end of this video. Well, not all of them, but a whole bunch of them. I want the outside of this to be popped. So I'm just putting little pieces of dimensional adhesive along the whole thing. And I'll place that over top of my little snowman. And then it's time to start assembling the snowman himself. I wanted a little detail on him. I could have used ribbon or something, but I'm just going to use a piece of scrap paper glued on and then put more stamp runner onto the back of this so I can attach his little hat, attach his little scarf. Sorry for the rough cut. I'm trying to do this really fast and I'm not feeling really well. I think I've caught a second cold. So I'm trying to just get her done. So wiggly eyes are always fun on anything. You can use regular, um, any kind of pearls or something used for his eyes, but I decided wiggly eyes would be great. And I've had his little arms cut and his little happy arms are waving. This banner I want to show you, you can use it with any size sentiment. I'm just making two marks a quarter inch apart and about the same distance from the sentiment itself. And then I fold the banner into a Z and then all I have to do is trim the outside edges and put some dimensional adhesive under the center 
center the sentiment, and then kind of snug underneath of there those, th those two ends. They have some adhesive on the back of them too. Punch two holes because I want to put some ribbon on it, of course, because it's a sandy ornament. So I'm using some May Arts silk ribbon to add a nice big bow on the very top of this and make it all festive so I can cut the size piece that I think I need for my bow and start tying. I'm just tying a regular old bow like you would a shoelace and I will have to do a little fluffing to make it work. I'm not gonna bore you with the fluffing. There are other videos that will show you how to tie bows. And now I have another hole cut with a piece of string for hanging the ornament. Last thing is going to be the extra embellishing and I'm adding snow with pearl pen, just giving him little dots. And then I'm gonna do a row of dots along his hat decor to spice that up a bit. And now, dun dun dun, stickles! I'm just gonna outline <laughs> where I have that little um, extra edge that I created along the die cut and then around the sentiment. And here is the finished ornament. I have a whole mess of ornaments that I wanna show you, so I'm gonna turn on some fun Christmas music and let you just watch. And I will see you another time. Merry Christmas. Tell me now. It's Christmas And I'll make believe it's true Tell me you'll be here with me And I'll believe that too Tell me we'll be happy And I'll dream Tell me 